please stand for our next song. So open the eyes of my heart, Lord, so all of you should know this one. So sing along with us, please. So I want to hear you singing. Oh 
Happy Sabbath. Welcome to the Georgia Cumberland Academy Seventh-day Adventist Church, or Sabbath services here. Um, we're glad you're here. Students, parents, uh, a special welcome to our uh, guests who are here for our Academy Days 2014. Uh, we hope you're having a good time. If you are here, and by the way, a special welcome to those of you joining us via the internet as well. Um, if you are just arriving this morning, we would ask that at some point this morning, maybe between services, you make your way, or after church, down to the girls' dorm to register for Academy Days. If you're a guest here, there's a, there's a t-shirt in it, I think, for you, and maybe some other things. 
Um, so please register at the girls dorm if you're here for Academy Days and you haven't registered yet. We've been enjoying praise music led by 28-7. That's one of the uh, praise teams that we have, several praise teams on campus that are in our uh, praise class that's um, uh, taught by our director of instrumental music, Mark Toursney. Um, the order of service is going to change a little bit this morning and uh, that will accommodate the need for Testify Christian Theater for their, their uh, presentations to all be together. So if you have a program you're looking, uh, you're looking at it, from here we will have a special music by Jessica Ahn and then a mission trip report, a multimedia presentation put together by our parent, one of our parents, Laura Danzig. And uh, then another special music by Taylor Maddox and Willow Chen. And then that will be followed by the presentations um, that I know you're looking forward to by Testify Christian Theater. Shall we bow our heads for prayer? Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for the chance to worship here. Our efforts are feeble and we're often confused and distracted, but now we're asking in this place, at this time, this morning, that you would accept our uh, worship, not as performances, not as things to draw attention to us, but that Jesus would be lifted up in this place, that we could see a clearer picture of him and uh, uh, be able to understand more his grace, his beauty and love and humility. And so that's our prayer. And help us to understand your uh, desires for us and your expectations of us more clearly. We may leave this place with renewed courage to do what you want us to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Good morning, everybody. Um, my name is Kevin Salazar. I'm a four-year senior. This is Tyler Hamilton. Uh, and I'm senior. Jessica Ahn. I'm also a four-year senior. <laughs> and today we're going to sing for you, um, Give Thanks.
selfish thought. I surrender everything I got. You can have everything I am. And perfect everything I'm not. I am willing, I am not afraid. Give me strength when I'm not. I wanna be your hands, I wanna be your feet.
could a good come up from this ground at all? You make beautiful things, you make beautiful things out of the dust. things out of us All around Hope is springing up from this old ground Out of chaos life is being found in Out of the dust, you make beautiful things, you make beautiful things out of us, you make beautiful things, you make beautiful things out of the dust, you make beautiful things. You make beautiful things out of us. You make me new you are making me new you make me new you are making me new you making me new you make beautiful things you make beautiful things out of the dust things you make beautiful things out of the dust you make beautiful things you make beautiful things out of us you make beautiful things you make beautiful things out of the dust things you make beautiful things out of us you make me new you are making me new you make me new you are making me new you making me new you make me Good morning. Good morning. We are Testify Christian Theater, GCA's strong group, and we have four skits to share with you this morning on the theme of Level Up. And our focus is to inspire you and challenge you to level up in your spiritual life, to push things further, go on to the next level. We want to share a verse with you today from James chapter 1. This is verse 22 through 25. It says, Do not merely listen to the word, and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. 
Anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like a man who looks at his face in a mirror and after looking at himself goes away and immediately forgets what he looks like. But the man who looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and continues to do this, not forgetting what he has heard but doing it, he will be blessed in what he does. Our life as Christians is um, difficult sometimes. There are um, problems that we face, and there are things that try to distract us from following God. But I challenge you, we all challenge you and ourselves today, to push yourself to the next level. Don't give up. Don't settle for ordinary. Don't settle for usual. But push yourselves to continue following God. One of the difficult things about being a Christian and living our Christian life is that we need to every day read the Bible. We need to every day pray to God. But when you do something every day, what tends to happen to it over time? Gets normal, gets maybe boring sometimes. And so often we let ourselves just kind of, things get normal and usual, and we don't really take in what we are reading when we read the Bible, or we don't really pay so much attention when we're praying to God anymore. Um, so we want to remind you again today, and ourselves as well, that the Word of God is something sweet and wonderful, not something to be normal in our lives. And we shouldn't be taking it secondhand from other people, but we should be taking it in for ourselves. Air? 
It's ridiculous to think that anybody would actually eat secondhand donuts like that. But that's kind of what we do every time we rely on other people to tell us what God says, and we don't get into the Bible and read it for ourselves. And when we read the Bible and just kind of let it slip through our minds and don't really think about it, don't really take it in, that's just kind of like chewing something and spitting it back out again. It does us no good. We, we get a feel what it's like, but it doesn't do anything inside to change us. So we challenge you to, to level up in that, to, to step up and do more with your study, to do more with your prayer to God. Don't just let it become normal and natural. Sometimes it does seem scary to us to push things to the next level spiritually because we're not really sure what we're going to face. We might be asked to maybe tell somebody else about what we believe. Someone may have questions and challenge us on our faith, and then we'd have to answer. Those things are frightening, and sometimes it can be scary to push ourselves to go farther and do more. But if we don't push ourselves, then we will just stay at the same place. We'll, we'll always be scared. We'll never level up and move on farther in this game.
one might seem tough, but you just gotta power through it. And on level one, you're gonna learn, learn skills. I'll help you through level two. And then level two will teach you skills about level three. And then so on and so forth. But it's the idea. I mean, look, when I started out, I was just like you. I was puny, wimpy, ran around everywhere, and I was into fashion. Thanks. I had a lot of things. But, anyways, you understand what I'm saying, right? Like, you just gotta keep going through this. Time. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I understand, Mr. Yagashi, because you took to Nagasaku. But I still don't think I can defeat all these people on my own. Oh, you can't. What? Have you learned about sword yet? No, all I have is my basic training stick. Uh, um, sorry, you have never, ever read the game in Right? Okay. You can get the sword on any level at any time, just by like crouching down for 10 seconds. Crouching? How am I supposed to protect myself when I'm crouching? Do I look like I programmed the game? I just know how to play it. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Come on. You're gonna need. You're gonna need the sword to defeat this guy. Huh. Huh. I don't want to turn around, Mr. Yagahashi Mishi, me and Toto and Nagasaku. You can do it. You guys. Do I have to? then you never will advance to further levels. You never will find out new things you can do. You never will discover that you're actually okay with talking to someone about Jesus if you don't go out there and do it. You'll never discover that it's okay to have questions and to have discussions with people who don't believe the same thing that you do if you go, don't go out and do it. So take courage. God is with us. He's given us the tools that we need to conquer this. And what we need to do then is to give everything over to God so that he can use us. This may be one of the hardest things we have to do as Christians is to surrender to God everything that we are, everything that we have, so that he can use us in the way he wants to use it. So we challenge you finally today and we challenge ourselves to surrender everything to Jesus.
to Jesus, I surrender humbly at His feet. I bow. Worldly pleasures all forsaken. Take me, Jesus, take me now. And take surrender. Oh, oh I surrender. All. Love to the Happy Sabbath, everyone. Um, we're going to start church at 1120, and there will be a countdown video right before, so when that starts playing, if you guys could come back in and find your seats, that'd be great. And I'm going to pray, so everyone, please bow your heads with me. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for this awesome Sabbath day, and thank you that we can all come here and worship you together. And just please be with everyone today. Keep everyone safe as they're traveling back from Academy Days tonight. And just be with everyone and guide us and help us to leave here blessed today. Thank you that all of you gave us and all you've done for us. Amen.